today. I'm here with Shannon. <laughs> I'm in New Zealand at the moment, and I'm in, if you didn't recognize, the background. The little fairy lights. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to film a question and answers today, and there's also a video going up on Shannon's channel, which... Yeah. The No More Makeup okay. Challenge first. Yeah, the No More <laughs> Makeup Challenge, so go and check that out. I'll leave all of her links listed down below, but you should be subscribed to her if you aren't already. <laughs> but go and watch the video because, uh, well, it turned out interesting. That's interesting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're doing a question and answer video, so let's just get into it. If you were going to dye your hair an out there color, like pink, purple, etc., what would you choose? Love you both. Probably like a, a magenta kind of color. Oh, that would be so cool, like real bright. Yeah. Yeah. I would probably do. Oh, I've been okay. Don't diss me, but I'm obsessed <laughs> with that like teal and black hair that oh, Kylie yes. Jenner has. Yeah. That looks amazing. Oh my goodness, I would love, I would like really want to buy like a wig that color. I'm obsessed. <laughs> hey guys, I love you both so much. You're both so inspirational. Can I ask you both what keeps you motivated and where you get your inspiration from? <sighs> um, motivation. I guess it's just like the more work you put into your channel, the more results you usually see. Yeah. So that's like my motivation is just seeing my channel grow and seeing your comments and like people saying like, oh my god, I love this makeup look. Like, it inspires you to keep going and keep putting out like cool videos and stuff. And like definitely watching other creators and their yeah. content and things like that, thinking, oh my god, they just aced that look. Yeah. I need to, you know, film something like it. Yeah, just totally gives you inspiration. Yeah. Even if you don't film the same kind of video, it just inspires you somehow. Mm -hmm. Also, like viewers as well give us a lot of inspiration because yeah. you know you guys are the ones being like, oh, can you do a video on this? And so it like helps us to give new ideas. The typical question. If your house was on fire and you could only save three things, what would they be? Coco. Louis and Zeus. I'm counting them as one. My yeah, yeah, that's one. Uh, I don't really care about anything I was else. just thinking like, I like you know, if my makeup all burnt, like I know everyone would expect us to say makeup, but yeah. that's what insurance is for. Like as much as I love my matter. makeup, it doesn't more matter. Things. Maybe like, um, like thoughtful gifts. Sally made me like a photo, like a photo album with photos of us and like just things like that. I'd probably just try and grab like the three closest sentimental things to me. It well, it depends like where you are in the house exactly. and where the fire is. But like if you had the chance to grab anything, yeah, I'd probably grab our wedding album. Yeah, I should be my wallet, so I still have money. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? People say like if you have an evacuation and they say, oh, leave everything behind, take your wallet with you. Because ID. Yeah, you need ID because if you're without that, it's so hard to get. Yeah, you can. Anywhere. It's even hard to get like a new like birth certificate and just silly things like yeah. that. Yeah. I don't know what's your best way to get fading or patchy tan off. Soak in a bath with like a bath bomb in it and the bath bomb kind of like helps to like moisturize your legs and make oh. them go all like slimy and it helps to get all the dry skin off easier. Like I have a bath as hot as I can handle and then I just scrub it off with like a one of those scrubby yeah. mitts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that works the best for me. Also heard that swimming in like a swimming pool helps. Yes, the chlorine yeah. takes it off. Yeah, I just scrub. Yeah, just scrub with your hair. I just scrub, yeah. yeah. Just scrub it off. Would you rather have a bad fake tan job or a bad haircut? Bad and fake tan. tan. <laughs> bad fake tan. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sometimes, like, I'm real bad. Like, if I'm in a massive <laughs> hurry and I just slap on fake tan and it looks bad, I'm kind of like, eh. I kind of just deal with it. Like, I'm just like, whatever. Like, I don't even care that much. Whereas, bad haircut, like, you've got to live with that for a long time. Yeah. You guys are so beautiful. How do you overcome hate on a daily basis or how do you ignore it? Delete. <laughs> Honestly, it's not easy. It's not. Like, you imagine having someone coming into your space and just abusing you, like, every single day. And it's not even just one person. I don't know how you do it. It's horrible. But I just say to people, like, they don't know you, so no. don't take it personally. Um, block them. Delete them. Yeah. And I always think they're the people that kind of need hugs the most. Yeah, there's something true. bad happening in their life for them to do that. And I've even sure. had people... I had a comment the other day from someone, and she was like... I'm so sorry, I hated on your videos about a year ago, and I'm so sorry I was in a really dark place and I want to like apologize wow. to you. Wow, that like, made me oh shivers. I know, it was honestly like, I just think it's best to try and ignore them because yeah. you don't know what they're you going through. You don't want through. to feed them either. No. Like, and then it just turns into a big like, Rah. oh here's a cute one. How would you approach a guy you like? And how do you know if they like you back? Oh my god! It's so because we're both in like long term relationships <laughs> and like dating advice. To, like I'm like I don't even know. Like what do you do with a boyfriend? What do you do with a boy? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think like just get it out there. Like if you are interested in someone, just say hey. Like you're cool. I want to hang out with you. <laughs> Is that what you say? I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like what kind of 
situation would you be in? Like, because if it was, you know, at a bar or something, you'd just like... Yeah. Hey! <laughs> someone you know, though. Yeah, if you've been, like, talking to someone for ages, that's a bit awkward. Like, if it was someone I'd be like, I'd be like, hey, like, what's up? Well, I'd like to think I would, I probably wouldn't. But this yeah, is my advice. If it was someone you know well and you, like, have a bit of a crush on them and you want to know if they like you back, I guess you've just got to bite the bullet and kind of yeah, you put do. a little bit of something out there. Because you never know, like, they could meet someone in the next day or whatever and then your chance is gone. Like, you just need to... You just need to go for yeah. it, girl. <laughs> I really just go for it. How did you two first start talking, being in different countries, etc.? Oh. So, so amazing that you guys are doing a vid together. I don't even know. Uh, well, I... you might not remember, but I do remember. You mentioned me. No, in I your remember mentioning you on my video. video. I don't remember how I found you. I think it was because you asked on your Facebook page, guys, can you leave your channel? Oh, below? yeah. And the, oh my god, Shannon, like, I just can't even. <laughs> That's, that was a long time ago too. Like, yeah, you. I listed you as one of my underrated favorite YouTubers. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. I remember. And that was what the same video I put Sally in. Yeah, and live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, and then I was just like so grateful, and I just couldn't believe it. And I went from like 600 subscribers to like 4,000 in a couple of days. <laughs> and I didn't even plan to go to IMATS. And then you were going to IMATS. I'm like, I'm going! Yeah, I'm going! And I was like, I have to go! <laughs> and yeah, then I don't know. Like, it, was, it just changed everything for me. I know, it was crazy. Because <laughs> like, we barely even like knew each other. Like, I say like, this is the first time today we're like properly meeting. Because it's like the proper time we're actually like alone talking. Yeah. Like, we've like met in passing and it's like... I don't know. It's so <laughs> weird. But I still feel like I knew her already, obviously. It's so weird, right? Yeah, it is. It's so weird. It's like when I've met other YouTubers, it's just like, oh, hello, like, how you going? Like, there's no awkward because it's just like, you know each I other. I like I know your life. Yeah. What's on your bucket list? <gasps> I've got such a good answer. Do you? Oh my gosh. I was talking about this the other day. Do you? Okay, you go first. No, Do I don't know. have anything. Don't like, you? No. Oh my gosh, okay. My bucket list, I want to see Dylan Francis live, I want to meet Diplo, I want to <laughs> swim with um, pigs, and it, is it, where is it? Swim with pigs? Yeah, there's an island what? where you can go and swim with pigs. No. I'm not kidding. It's amazing. How do they swim? It's in, they swim, they're just like, hello, I'm swimming. <laughs> Search swimming with pigs on YouTube, you will not regret it, that's on my bucket list. I also really, really, really want to go to Greece. I just want to like... Build a new house. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> like, you think of how many people don't get to do that. Like, it's so exciting. Yeah, I guess so. I, yeah, like I, I want to. That's another thing I want to do one day is like build my own house, like, exactly how I want it. Yeah. I don't know. I'd like to travel to a few more places. Like, there's a few places in Europe that we didn't go, like Greece and. Greece looks amazing. Yeah. It? I'd really love to go to something like BeautyCon or Gen Beauty or something. Mm. I'd really love to go to just experience it yeah. and have the chance to meet those big YouTubers that like we don't have anything like that here. I know, it sucks. It I really hope does. I really hope like New Zealand, Australia, YouTube life gets a little bit more, you know. I feel like more people have to join in. Yeah. Because you know there's only a few of us. Like I mean there are a lot, but I mean compared to America, it's nothing. Yeah. So, yeah. Are you actually doing anything for Halloween? No. <laughs> Films 30 Halloween <laughs> tutorials. Me. Doesn't do anything for Halloween. <laughs> Here's a good one. What was the first ever job you got? I was a Kmart checkout chick. Woo I was a... Wait, my very first one was at my mum's old work and I was packing teats. Like, <laughs> fake teats. You know, like, we're like, on farms and they have those feeders and they have the little teats? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to... Oh, my teats. <laughs> I was packing them in boxes. <laughs> That's what my job was, to pack those. How many box. did you put in a box? Like 50 or something. It was oh. tedious and you stack them a certain tedious way. Tedious teats. Yeah, tedious teats. <laughs> What's the worst thing you've ever lied to your parents about? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I would just sit here and I go. have, and I'm pretty sure that they know that I lied. I used to have to wear glasses when I was younger. <gasps> I did this too. And did you never tell them? Did you just pretend like you didn't need glasses? I pretend, no, I pretended that I lost them, but I buried them at school and jumped on them. Okay, and I'll... I made my friends swear not to tell anyone. That is so funny. Okay, my story was I needed glasses for like two years when I was like 10 and I just pretended like I could see fine because I didn't want to wear glasses. I, it was the worst. And the thing was, gla gl like glasses were so expensive. Like yeah. your parents spent hundreds of yeah. dollars on your glasses. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a good selection for kids back then. No. They were so hideous. Yeah. Mine were like blue, like a sky blue with green and <laughs> red freckles. Like, it was disgusting. <laughs> I don't know what my worst one is, but I remember my first life. 
for some reason I remember my first lie I ever told to my parents and it was my dad and he came to pick me up from my nana's house and I said dad nana got a video player and then he's like don't lie cool story <laughs> and that's like, my first oh, okay. that's the first lie I ever told in my life and my dad was like you never lie ever again blah 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 why did you say why? I don't know that's I guess I was just like a little kid I was like experimenting with lying Maybe I saw something about it. No, but I always used to lie. <laughs> like, I'd come home and I'd like get into the biscuits like, after school. And then mum would be like, the chocolate chips. What, what happened to those biscuits? And I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I remember my mum had some like chocolate chips in like the spare room and I used to go in there and just like eat them by the handful. <laughs> if you were a food, what would what food would you be? I reckon I'd be a banana. I was thinking like a strawberry or something. Cute. Why? I said a banana because I'm like, I don't know, I'm weird. And I feel like bananas are weird shaped. <laughs> Cause you can like can you just like imagine yourself in a banana suit? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like I'd just be like in a strawberry. Very good wool, kick ass, both are sexy. Sexy coconut oil, palm oil. <laughs> what would you say to your teenage self? I would say stand up to your bullies. I think that's important. I'd say start a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, I'd say like don't worry about what you're gonna do in your future, because I don't know. I feel like everyone gets so hung up on like, oh, what am I gonna do when I finish school and blah blah blah. Like, don't even yeah. worry. Like, yeah. when you leave high school, that's when your life starts to begin. I feel like that's when you own like you figure out what you want to do from there. Like, if you're 30 and you still don't know what you want to do with your life, don't even worry. Like, isn't it? Most of the influential people around the world, like richest people, didn't start their business features till they're like 50. Like the person who created like KFC, oh, like all that. these people. And there's like this thing that goes around, it's like at 23, Oprah Winfrey got fired, um, oh. Dis Walt Disney filed for bankruptcy, can't remember wow. the other two. But it's like, don't worry. I just got like shivers <laughs> thinking of that. Yeah. Like it's not too late for me. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Like, who cares? Like, just do what makes yeah, you happy. Yeah, that, that's the thing, yeah. just. Go with, go with life, just yeah. let it take you. And don't right worry up. about your high school friends. No. Like, you will keep a couple and the rest of them that are dicks, like, they don't even matter later. Do you know what? Like, it, it was our 10 year high school reunion this year. And yeah. I'm like, if it, it isn't happening, but if it was, I wouldn't even go. Because I see the people that Doesn't I want to see. Exactly. Like, your friends, you make effort for that. I'm like, why would I want to see anyone else? Exactly. Like, the only reason I feel like people go to those over in, like, other countries, I feel like it's more of, like, an American thing than yeah, I've probably. never heard of anyone in New Zealand doing it. But, like, it's kind of like it's Australia. literally just, like, snooping. Yeah. Like, you just want to know what your room's yeah. doing. And I, I don't care. No. Nah. Because you just think, oh, well, I'm happy. Like, yeah. I see the people I want to see and that's it. Yeah. you just got to learn to be happy within yourself. I feel like that's the yeah. biggest tip for, like, confidence and self-security is just, Definitely. like, stop worrying about what everyone else is doing. Just yeah. focus on what you're doing. And like, I mean, obviously you do have your your days where you're, you're just like, mm. but overall, just be happy, be yourself, and be confident. Yeah. Does Coco need a boyfriend? He does roles too. Oh <laughs> my gosh, that is so cute. Did they actually write that? Yeah, they wrote that. Oh. <laughs> Who was your embarrassing childhood celebrity crush? Will Smith. Taylor Hanson. Taylor Hanson. I love it. <laughs> but Will Smith was the first Will person Smith. I ever had a crush on because I was obsessed with the Fresh, Pl 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 Fresh Prince of Bel Air. There we go, got it out. And <laughs> I had a dream that I kissed him. And I was so embarrassed and I didn't tell anyone. Because I thought my mum would tell me off for having a crush. Oh, really? How old were you? I was young. I was like five or six, I think. Oh my god. Wait, was I even like. Wait, would I have been? How old was I when Fresh Prince was on? It was like when I first started I watching know. it. I'm sure I was really young though. Maybe maybe I was like seven. But I feel like I was much young. I don't even know. It, I was very young. Yeah. I, would, oh, I was probably like 10 or something when Hans came out. I'm like, I'm going to marry Taylor. Cute. <laughs> Alright, so that is the end of our question and answer video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go and check out Shannon's video, the No Mirror Makeup Challenge that I'm in. <laughs> um, and thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so we finished our makeup. Here's, I'm really proud of this wing. It's actually really good. Did good. I did and like double wings on this side. I don't even know what happened. But her lipstick application, wow. <laughs> it's so good. I feel like this lip color is like glowing in the dark. Yeah. It's like <laughs>